Hey guys, this is Michael. Welcome to Waters Family Homestead. So today, wasn't feeling the greatest the majority of the day, so I took a day off work. And of course I get antsy when I get the feeling a little better, so I got out here and started tinkering under the lean-to, rearranging. So I've got a little bit better path through here. I've still got a lot of stuff to deal with, but I got a little better path as far as getting to the feed cans and to the ammo, I mean, the fuel and stuff over there and putting the tools back where they belong. So I'm gonna put these boards here. I'm gonna put them up on the thing there to get them out of the way. They'll be off the floor, off the ground. The rain water collects right here. This is a low spot. So until I grade this, it's going to continue collecting water, so I'm going to stand up or put all that up on the stand. So I did that and just kind of transitioned into, okay, the rabbit boxes, I built a couple of them, got them mounted, and they're really big to take up things. So I'm thinking I'll just build a shelter, not as closed in as the chickens, but, you know, a roof with a wall or two <laughs> off the side of the chicken pen here. Just a shelter over it and the side and back to block the wind a little bit and mount the boxes in there. Um, maybe come up with a different design so I've got um, a place for rabbits when I do that. Um, either way, I went ahead and took them down and I took them down. I'm like, I'm going to move this roost. And I moved the first pins roost here from the back wall to the side. And I thought, well, I'm going to move their heat lamp the light over there so they can stay warm and i kind of like the idea so i went to the middle pin and i'm like i'm gonna move their roof that's been there since i built the pin because i had it mounted to the walls not sitting on the ground so it moved when i slid the pin and i went ahead and moved it as well lowered it just a little bit so the their roof aren't exactly flat but you know it's fine for a chicken but um, either way, I moved it and then moved their light. So there's a light on each side of the wire on each side of the pin. So basically, they could share some heat and all roost there, you know, close to each other. And uh, I moved the, I left their nesting box there. I'm probably going to move it further back eventually, but right now it's going to stay there. And I moved their feeder away from the roost a little bit here, just an extra foot or so. And in the middle pin, when I moved the roost, their feeder and all was fine. I left it alone. Then I went to this third pin, and I moved their roost from the back wall to the side wall. Now, the thing is, the, the wall between these two pins is OSB, so they can't get to each other or see each other. But that wood's a little warmer than the metal, and I moved their light for heat above them as well. So... I left their feeder where it was as well. I did pick their nesting box up off the ground a little bit. Um, I, I really want to build them another one. That one's not quite big enough. But it, it, it works. So I have lifted it up a little bit. And I'm going to lift the older chicken's roost a couple of inches. Because they tend to do what they're doing now. Get over there and scratch the hay out and stuff. I put fresh hay in them. So I'm hoping to lift it a little bit. Might you know slow that down some and i raked out all three pins with the garden rake and just slung it out here in their run you know it'll get eaten and get turned into whatever soil you know <laughs> it's not gonna hurt anything out there just kind of spread it out but either way i did get some chores done um i've never seen a wasp nest in a chicken pen but under this last pin here that big light, there was a wasp nest in the very top with one wasp on it, a little bitty nest. So I went ahead and killed it before I moved it, of course, but um, I've never seen wasps build nest in a chicken pen. The chickens will usually peck them and eat them, but apparently this one got lucky enough for a week or so because it hadn't been there long. <laughs> but anyway, I, have, I let them out early today because I was home and... I've collected most of the eggs. I've gotten them all, but the first, uh, the middle pen, there was a hen, one of the red hens sitting on them, so I decided I'd leave them. And then when I was moving stuff, a board fell and broke two of the five eggs that were in there, so um, it would have been a 15-egg day. 
but you know it is what it is or 14 15 somewhere in there but either way i got that done and i got a little bit of progress made here so i'm going to get these boards moved and get up that pile of trash and put it in the dumpster the hobo there and uh hopefully give me a little more room to to do stuff you know <laughs> without being so cluttered but I've, i need the hand trucks to move the rabbit boxes i mean i moved them but it's easier with the hand trucks i'm gonna set that grill off on the ground and grab my hand trucks i don't know if y'all can see that and uh and get those boxes moved out of the way and then get my mess cleaned up but probably not going to do much else today since I was feeling poorly this morning. I don't want to overdo it and have another day tomorrow like I did today. So thought I'd do a quick video for y'all and show you. I, you know, I don't normally, when I had the one pin, I didn't really clean it out. I just moved it to a new spot. Once they ate all the grass inside the pen, I'd move it to a new spot. And uh, since it's back here, instead of in the old garden space, I have to clean them out because they stay in the same spot all the time so and i'm not i tried it with a shovel i'm not getting in there with a shovel and killing myself trying to move all the wet pack stuff down there so we'll see how it works out and no for those of you that can tell i did not put a level on the roost i just put them up there they're close enough the chickens don't care they'll roost on tree limbs if that's all they got so Anyway, I did leave the little one by four on the front of this one so that they'd have the little walk to get up there um, instead of having to fly up like the other chickens because their first step is a little higher than the others. And uh, that gave the babies an easy way to get up to that first step and start getting used to roosting. So that was the idea with it anyway. So let me get my boards cleaned up and get these boxes moved. Something else to take up more space out here until I figure out what I'm going to do with it. I'm like I say, I'm probably going to throw up a, just a little wall on the side and roof and and build rabbit boxes under there. And it'll be open to the run area. <coughs> it's not going to be a closed in pen like this. So I won't need doors and all that stuff. All I need is a little bit of framing for the roof and the back and side and screw some metal up there. So nothing fancy. You know, it'll just keep the wind and the rain off the rabbit boxes basically but anyway guys i appreciate you watching if you have not done so already please subscribe to the channel help me grow um ever since we got that strike about three months ago the first two months i only gained three or four subscribers and then in the last couple of weeks we've gained another half a dozen which i greatly appreciate so if you can share the channel with other people and uh you know we talk about prepping we talk about surviving what's coming and raising animals and right now all i have is dog cats and chickens you know i do plan on getting goats and and pigs or hogs whatever you want to call them and you know that stuff down the road but just like most of you i'm growing slowly as i can afford to and as i have time but um i would appreciate y'all subscribing if you have not done so and if you're on rumble Find us on Rumble under the same name and follow us there. I would appreciate it. Y'all remember what I always tell you. Jesus Christ loves you. And so do I. Y'all be safe. Be prepared.